welcome to my first ever video on my new gaming channel laws gaming um we're going to start off with the fm23 beta that came out not that long ago and uh then obviously the full game coming out in november um so if you can't tell by the trench coat that my manager's wearing and i don't think you guys can see it but got my arsenal uh, track top on um we're going to be doing a arsenal save and you've probably already guessed that from the thumbnail and the title of the video um so yeah i'm an arsenal supporter so i feel like i know a lot about the club the players you know what's expected um i mean in real life Mikel is doing amazingly um you know the fact that he's been able to keep up and like even challenge with city at the moment with the squad they've got is unbelievable i think in football manager terms it's going to be so much harder because um the players that chelsea tottenham have got united definitely their players stats on football manager are just going to be a lot better than what they've been performing like in real life and liverpool as well even so yeah i mean it's going to be a challenge to try and keep up with those other teams but um we're going to give it a go we'll probably just get a season done before the full game comes out and then we'll um go on to a new team i've already got some in mind um but yeah so i'm gonna start up the game and then we'll start checking through the emails and uh i'll be back with you in a bit the game started loading up took forever to try and load up on this old pc i've got it was a nightmare um so we're gonna look at our manager's statistics now kind of what's important what's not important straight away goalkeeping 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 I, you don't need me teaching people how to stop shots i mean i'll manage the team you don't have to yeah I've, i'll hire someone to do the goalkeeping um something that um obviously tactics i think that's probably quite big uh technical uh, mental is probably quite up there as well um 11 points left I mean, again, technical, working with youngsters is probably quite a big one. We've got such a young squad, and then we've got one extra point. So maybe we drop defending down to 12, and then maybe we give 15, 15, and defending 13. Um, I've gone with the, uh, the suggested ones based on Arsenal because, I mean, it's not like we're doing a journeyman-type save, so I feel like the an, a, some, a manager that would have the Arsenal job obviously would have these types of badges and experience so yeah and obviously past playing experience international global level i won seven ballon doors same as messi um so let's have a look here adaptability so what's that employment in a foreign league we're only doing it for a season maybe two definitely don't need that determination player knowledge um motivating it's got to be up there level of discipline let's see what that how likely a player is to bring their concerns to you to be honest i'm i'll go midway on that one because i'm not convinced that that's something that really matters um and then one and one on that yep yeah, i think that's what we'll go with i mean yeah definitely just make sure we've got a good goalkeeping coach otherwise uh yeah ramsdale is going to be having a shocker for the rest of the season all right let's confirm that I need to see those messages again. All right, guys. So we've uh, just opened up our email account. Uh, first time seeing the new uh, new screen. I like the navy blue background on it. It's easy to read, which is good. Uh, asking about tactics. We'll have a look at that later. We've already looked at all of this. Uh, no injuries, which is which is a surprise. Um, so yeah, obviously we have to comply with the squad rules. Uh, the transfer window is open. Biggest spenders, Chelsea. Erling Haaland, 51 million. Absolute bargain. I mean, I hear, I hear they're paying him about £800,000 a week, so maybe it's not a bargain. But to say that Casemiro costs more than Haaland, yeah, absolute joke. Um, Lawrence declined to meet press. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I just couldn't really be bothered to go and talk to the press. So um, not a great start, is it? But anyway uh yeah we've already looked at all of these i'm happy with all of those and um let's 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 go into the tactics let's have a look so i i think what we want is i don't think we're going to be controlling possession as much as especially against the other bigger teams i think we need to probably look at gem gem press i know in uh previous football managers that that's what's been uh that's what's uh worked 
than like best but your players get tired but this year you get five substitutes like the premier league does so there's so much more room for rotation that's why good squad depth is going to be so important um so straight away i want him on a, an attacking role so i feel like the, the starting 11 here kind of picks itself to be perfectly honest with you um obviously aaron ramsdale in net um I wouldn't say, I'd say he's a lot better than Matt Turner than only half star. Right wing back, I'm going with Tommy Asu. Ben White just isn't one. And then I'm going Saliba and Gabriel as the left-hand side defender. Which does leave Benjamin White on the bench. But, I mean, there's only 11 players on the pitch. You can't put them all on. And I'm not going to be Gareth Southgate and be putting on all defenders. So, um, I'm going to play Kieran Tierney. He's actually wanted, so that's quite interesting. Who's he wanted by? PSG, of course they do. They normally come and buy every single player in Football Manager that they can get their hands on. So um, Thomas Party, I want him sitting in front of the defence, almost like an anchor kind of position. And then, uh, oh, interesting, Zinchenko is actually up there as the Roman playmaker. So we'll stick him in there because he's got the best role ability for it. That's interesting. Uh, I expected Granite Xhaka to be sitting in there, but I'd be happy with Zinchenko kind of means that I maybe I'm not looking for a number eight that can go box to box. Uh right forward, I mean this front four picks itself. Martinelli. Advanced playmaker Odegaard, although I am going to change that to an advanced playmaker, not an attacking midfielder. And then Gabriel Jesus up front. So don't show me his role ability, that's a bit weird. Um so yeah I think that's the generic starting lineup. I mean if we scroll down and we have a look here so um, let's just filter out. We don't want... Can we get rid of anyone that's out on loan? Uh, we'll just leave them in for the moment. So obviously Matt Turner's on the bench. Ben White. Now Cedric is someone that I'm, I'm thinking I want to get rid of because I've got Tomiyasu and Ben White that can play right back. I really don't need Cedric. Um, and I could use the money to get somebody else in but put him on the bench obviously El Elneny, Sambi Lukonga, Granit Xhaka Matthew Smith I'm not even going to lie to you I don't even know who the kid is 21 years old got quite good stats actually but sorry mate you're not you're not you're not making it into, into my team George Lewis who's George Lewis right 22 years old you're definitely under 21 squad you can go down there it's not even worth anything um rob holding obviously as well i mean anybody really they're all gonna they're all gonna go on the bench five substitutions marquinhos eddie and katia and that's it so we can't we've got 12 12 substitutions obviously no injuries or anything at the moment um but i'm sure we'll get some going into the season so um i mean some players that i'm really interested in fabio Vieira. if we have a look at him um in my fm22 save i was uh with Bayern leverkusen and this he is outstanding uh technique passing first touch his pace is good vision he's just i mean his positioning could be a little bit better um but his decisions he is outstanding definitely definitely going to be playing a lot of game time for us this season and uh same with emil smith rowe obviously um, I think Boy was a bit quicker than that last year, but good acceleration. Again, are all of these young players that Arsenal have got all worth, you know, seventy million and maybe even upwards. Let's have a look at Martinelli. What, what what's he looking like? I mean, seventy four to eighty three, great pace, great acceleration. Twenty one years old, Odegaard, ninety eight to hundred six million. I mean, we if we sold one of these, we could. I mean, we're not going to sell them. We're going to keep them. I don't want to change it too much, but. Look at those screens. They're just, yeah, uh, so exciting. So much potential, not only just in Football Manager, but in, in real life as well. And the likes of Reese Nelson as well, still got good pace. Probably our best right-handed, right-hand side player apart from Saka coming in there. And uh, let's have a look at Marquinhos as well. So again, good pace. Dribbling's good. Crossing could do with a bit of work. Passing, yeah, what's his finishing's 11 his mentals aren't great could do with something a bit bit better mentals um but again he's two stars four star potential 20 only on thirty thousand pound a week you know he's he's going to get game time this season and that's the main thing um but yeah i mean a very exciting squad to be looking at i mean eddie and has 17 pace 14 finishing you know what maybe he is the man that that 
you know, I don't need to sign a striker. So then you start looking about where where can you improve? And uh I'm not I'm not too sure to be honest with you. Um at the moment. I think we're gonna have to have a little scout and see see what we can find. So um anyways, I'm gonna do a bit of a review of the squad, see what positions uh we need to improve, where we can add a bit of depth, see if there's anybody we can offload. And uh, I'll come back to you with uh, once I've uh, sorted all of that out. So, guys, I was just uh, looking at some, uh, doing some scouting, looking for some players to bring in. Um, you'll see I've sold Sambi Lokonga, not for a lot of money, but I needed the money to be able to bring people in. He's not going to play that much. Um, but as you can see on the screen, got an email. Uh, Gabriel Jesus, groin strain, three to four weeks. Um when I first saw it, I shat myself, I had to go and change my pants. But luckily, after a bit of calculations and looking at the calendar, he's going to be out uh, for all of our pre-season friendlies just in time for our first game of the season, which is against Newcastle. So um, chances are he won't be starting in those in that game. I mean, Newcastle, Aston Villa, not too bad. We'll have to bring him on as one of our five substitutes. So I think... I, I'm not going to go out and buy a striker, but I definitely feel like Eddie and Ketty is going to have to lead the line and hopefully show me something because I don't fully believe in him, to be honest with you. He's got great pace, good finishing, and I'm hoping he can prove me wrong. Um, but yeah, that's that's a real blow that he's not going to be able to, you know, get used to the, I mean, just signing as well. He's not going to be able to get used to playing with the other players. Um, he's gonna, He's probably going to be a bit weak. Um, his match fitness isn't going to be there, but... Um, yeah, so he's out for three to four weeks, which is really frustrating. Um, but yeah, I'm going to crack on, try and get some transfers done. Got a couple in the pipeline and uh, you'll see what I'm able to pull off soon. So. so guys, after a long, hard summer of, you know, constantly being on the phone, um, trying to get people out, not many people wanted to go out, trying to get players in that I wanted to get, you know, upgrade the positions. Um, yeah, it's, it's been long, it's been hard, you know. Um, Hold on a second. Hello, Eric, you are right. No, I don't want him. No, stop trying to... F no, stop it. Nobody wants him. All right, yeah, that's it. Yeah, cheers, bye. Eric Tenard, just still trying to ship off Ronaldo, but, you know, I only want quality players in this team, so... That's what we've gone and done. So let me give you a rundown of uh, the transfers that I managed to make. Um, obviously, Ronaldo hasn't come in. Um, I don't think he's gone anywhere, to be honest with you. I haven't even checked, but I don't think anyone can afford his wages. So uh, let's go to our transfer history, and we'll start with the outgoings. Um, obviously, just some young loan players uh, going out. Uh, first player that's was in the rotation um was reese nelson so sold him for 10.75 million i mean he's obviously valued at at the time it was a bit less than that because his contract was so low he told me that he wanted to go and look at his options at the end of his contract so i thought right i need to cash in on you as soon as possible um so 10.75 million for him which wasn't too bad rob holding I mean, I sold him for eight eight point eight. He's now worth less than that. Um, so well, eight point two five. Sorry. So again, another player that was kind of in the rotation, but wasn't going to be starting. Like I feel like I could get better players for the money that I had. Um, two other uh people that we got rid of. Uh, Cedric was always going to go. Um, sold him for eight million. He's now worth bloody. No one's ever going to pay that. For, for Cedric I mean don't get me around good all round stats 30 years old I mean I just thought like I've already got Ben White already got Tommy Asu two left backs as well he's just not really going to see that much time and to be honest I've I've gone and signed a right back as well um so yeah again just trying to get clear the wage budget get the transfer budget up to bring in some more people um this is probably the worst one of the lot I'd say Albert Sambi Lukong has gone 22 years old great mental stats he's worth 30 million now um but to be honest with you when i'll show you the player that i've replaced him with um he's the other player is just so much better and i again i just need i just needed the money to be able to bring in the players that i wanted to um so going on to the people that we've had come in obviously we spent quite a bit of money earlier on in the season and uh, then the four players we've sold we've now got four new players coming in pretty much uh, like for like replacements 
So uh, coming in for Rob Holding, we have Andrew Omabamami Delhi. He's Irish, uh, believe it or not. Um, 20 years of age, uh, 14 heading, 14 marking, 15 tackling, 10 parks in which I can work on, do some individual training, 15 pace, 6 foot 3. Those mentals as well, the composure, determination, you know, good positioning. So again, a backup um, only cost me 15 million, 17.5 million with potential add-ons. Um, going on to the next one, we've got Arnat Danjuma. So been playing very well i know people love him on fifa as well um and believe it or not he's probably going to be starting ahead of martinelli um for him for what was it 32 million obviously got some add-ons in there as well i've kind of taken advantage of that um now we're 59 to 65 16 pace 17 acceleration great flair determination could do with better positioning but his technique First heart dribbling, even finishing. I mean, he's probably better than Nketiah if we played him, if we trained him as a striker. But I think he's going to be starting on the left wing for us, um, which is sad because I really like Martinelli. Um, but definitely, I mean, again, I just keep talking about the rotation of the games. Um, we'll probably never have the same starting 11 for any of the games that we're going to play this season. Uh, moving on to our Cedric replacement and possibly our starting right back, uh, Dudu or Dodo. I don't know how you want to pronounce it. Uh, signed from Fiorentina uh, for 12 million, 17 pace, 16 acceleration. Downside being he's five foot five. The good part about it is that Tomiyasu is, I think, he's over six foot. So depending on who's who's playing on the left wing for the opposition, we can always swap it round. Um, but yeah, he's got a good good passing, not all right tackling, good technique. I think Tommy Asu will probably be starting, but again, signing for 12 million, he's gone up 31, 34 million. I mean, all good mentals as well. So, yeah, I was happy to get him for, for 12 million. And then uh, the man that Arsenal were linked with in the summer in real life, Yuri Tillemans, comes in to replace uh, a, a Sammy Laconga, a Belgian for a Belgian. And uh, it's always a Belgian. Um, so we've got uh, 18 passing, 16 first touch, 17 technique. Great vision, good decision making. His tackling's 12. He's going to be playing in that number eight next to Thomas Party. I was looking to try, maybe try and offload Thomas Party at one point. You know, 50 million. He's 29 years old. His stats aren't that great. Um, but nobody wanted him. And then he got in a huff and a puff about it because apparently I was trying to force him out of the club. Um, like I'd do something like that. But anyway, so those were the four signings that we made um, to kind of literally a four for four swap and i really do think that we've made a, definitely tillemans over laconga dodo over cedric um dan juma over reese nelson's a massive improvement and then uh omo we're going to call him or if we just call him andrew andrew over rob holding as well um a lot younger and uh a bit more potential so but still a rotation player so we head over to our tactics um, we're not going to play a game in this first episode. Um, our first game is uh, at New. Is it away at Newcastle? I think it is. Let's have a look. Is it away at Newcastle? It's at home at Newcastle, so we've got that to look forward to. So we might have a double header in the next episode, Newcastle and Aston Villa. Um, we'll see how we go on. But I'll definitely show you the first game of the season. Looking at the uh, tactics that we're going with, it's still the four-two-three-one uh, gem press that we're going with. Um, it won't be Vieira, it will be Saka on that right wing. Um, and it will be... Oh god, what's happened? This must be from one of the friendly games we played because it's definitely not starting 11. I thought I'd sorted this out. Take away him, don't need you. Elneny, you're probably not going to get much time. Yuri Tillemans in there. So I think this is the, the starting lineup that we're going to go with. Probably swap him out for Gabriel. And then uh, swap those two over and obviously Ramsdale in there. So looking at that team, you know, brought in Tillemans, Danjuma, Dodo, maybe Tomiyasu. Um, I'm thinking if it's Alan St. Maximin on the left on the left wing uh, up against Dodo, that's probably best just because of the pace. Um, but, I mean, we can look further into it once we get close to the game week. And uh, obviously looking down here, we've got Eddie Nketiah, Omdu, Martinelli. I mean, we're going to get injuries, but that will be, we'll, we'll sort the bench out, make sure we've, we've got great depth in every position now i mean if we go 
go and have a look. Is it squad plan of the new the new thing? I mean, look, so you're goalkeepers, two solid goalkeepers. We've got some in the under twenty ones as well if we need them. Then right back, we've got Dodo, Benjamin White, Tommy. Then centre backs, Gabriel, Saliba, White, Tommy again, and Andrew Tierney can even play there. I probably wouldn't though. Um, and then same on the other side, obviously left back Zinchenko and Tierney. Then we've got Zinchenko again, Party, Jack, El Nenny, and Tillemans. And then same on the other side. And then in our front line, especially this middle three, we're spoilt for choice. You know, Saka, Jesus obviously will be playing up top, but can play right wing if injuries, things like that. Martinelli will be coming on as a super sub starting game. Same with Vieira playing down the middle on the right. Smith Rowe down the middle on the left. And Ketia up top when needed. Well, Marquinhos was an interesting one. Um, I wasn't sure whether I should send him out on loan or not. I've kept him around maybe for the early stage of the Carabao Cup. He might go out on loan in January if he's not getting enough game time. Try and get him to develop. Uh, George Lewis, unregistered. Don't know what he's even doing here, to be honest with you. 22 years old. He's the... Rwandan, never even heard of the place. So he probably starts for him now, if he's playing for Arsenal and he's from there. Anyway, and then probably a star signing of my transfer window, along with Jesus, Dan Juma. Um, I will be getting face packs. Um, I'm just waiting for the FM23 ones to come out. Um, I've done the badges as well. So overall, you know what? I think I think we've had a good transfer window. So, you know, I'm, I'm really happy with uh, with the business that we were able to do. Looking at the Premier League, at the moment, top of the table, let's hope it, we can keep it that way. But uh, if we look at the season preview, if it pops up, uh, we're predicted to finish six behind, well, out of the big six. You know, it's not great. I definitely want to be above Tottenham, Man U, Chelsea. Uh, Liverpool and Man City, maybe. I mean, we'll have to just wait and see how things go. You never know, injuries can change it. They'll have a lot of games as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to the first game of the season. So that will be in the next episode, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed the first episode of my channel and uh, hopefully many more to come. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode.